All right, boys, we're back for week six of the PUDL Master Ball Division. We're facing Alex, coach of the Dance Spartans. And today I brought a really scuffed team. No disrespect to Alex, but we are almost nailed in playoffs. And according to my fundraiser, I have to use the Mons fundraiser to drop them. So here's Noctal. Meaning we will have a couple changes for week seven and eight and playoffs. Well, Alex is ready, so let's think about our lead. I think we might see a Tinglu lead. I think it's safe to for us to land to lead Lando. Oh, the Grand Ninja. This might not be bad for us, because now we can just U-turn with Scarfed. If he's also Scarfed, we, we're up to a very bad start. But we're balling with Noctal, so we ball 100%. Did I brought the right Terra in that thing? Yeah, thank you. I'm still not sure if I'm gonna Terra Kyoma. Kyoma? How would I say? Kyoma. Or Slim Jim. Well, let's see how the game goes. This has a chance to kill, it's very small. She's always in. Now, versus Shizor. Lando is one of our options. We can go Slim Jim. But then we would need to Terra. How do I want to deal with this? Do I want to just go Raging Bolt in Calm Mind? Shizor is indeed a very annoying one to my team. And I didn't, couldn't afford to bring Iron off. Between those guys, I think I need to go with Linjin. Maybe Terran Coil. Then Greninja or Gudra comes back. Uh, this is a 9 time. Because I also don't want to get knocked off. I can't just go Blastoise and Surf. Yeah, from my options. I don't want to Terra or Form right now. So it's either Bolt or Blastoise. Let's go Blastoise. And we just click Surf. He might just U-turn. I'll just switch. Oh, he, he hits the CC? That did so little. The jacked back. Oh, that was funny. That should have done more. So he's either not adamant, or he doesn't have investment. Might be... Speed. 32 to 38. What if he's max, but jolly. 36, so yeah, he's not invested. Might even not be adamant, and it was a max bro. Let's put adamant for now, just to be sure. Who comes in now?
the good reason. I kind of want to force the Terra on the thing, so maybe I just click Ice Beam. Let's see if I did enough damage to Shizor, so I don't really mind about him. Yep. He might drop a Draco, but if that's the case, I just go to Noctaw after. So I think uh, I'm just gonna click Ice Beam. Okay. He did the Acid Armor. So he's not AV. That is good info. Because now we know we can just Thunderclap this thing. The bad thing, my Gudra is special, uh, it's physical. So I need to play around this very carefully. Maybe I'm gonna Focus Blast to put it in range of Thunderbolt. Or Thunderclap. Because he should be faster than Raging Bolt. He can be Body Press since he's Acid Armor. And I can't just go Giraffe or Ico now, because I don't kill with one hit, and he's faster than me. If he drops a Draco, I'm down. Let's bank heal do it again, and go to Kiyama. He body presses. I did actually a lot. If we Terra, we can take 3. And we also have the Citrus. So I think I'll just click... What do I click first? Nasty Pot or Agility? I feel like Nasty Plot. Let me just check one thing. Ice Beam did 5%, so he's not invested in speed. 9 HP. Oh, for it to do that low? His max HP max be enough. Because I should do 6 to 7% even then. Weird, weird. Oh, nice plot. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I'm faster, good to know. Ice Beam did nothing. Citrus. So he's... Ice Beam, Body Press, Acid Armor, and should be Draco. Sorry if you're hearing a ton of noise. I can either click Agility for the next mons, or Nasty Plot again. His best Hurricane switch would be Tinglu. Maybe I can drop one Moonblast. Instead of boosting again. Let's see how much it does. 39. Oh, the crit! Unlucky. Very unlucky. But now we know the Sphinx set. It did 49. This is modest.
Hear me out. Hear me out. No, I can't risk the... I was about to hurricane to confuse him and maybe he hits himself. But if I miss, I can't just go bolt after this. So I kind of need the Moonblast damage. I did 39. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, his press doesn't make sense for me. Because he's doing more damage than he should and he's taking less damage than he should. It's like he has even more EVs than he should. <laughs> Let's just click Moonblast again. So, Bolt might be faster. You can also just go Tinglu. Now I know this thing's whole set though. I think I can just click EQ and do a lot of damage to something. That's another play I can do. Yeah, let's go Lindorius T. Because I feel I kill this with EQ, even after the boost. I mean, by the damage he's taking... Dude, he's in, if he's invested physically... Oh, okay, thanks. That would be insane. I would say the guy has a thousand EVs. So both Terra Captains down. We're locked into EQ. If it's Green Ninja, no cap. I'm clicking EQ. Sing Lu. I think we can go Blastoise now. Because here's the thing. Blastoise kinda did its job. The other option is Slim Jim. Which kinda. This is kinda his job too. Maybe we go Slim Jim. Blastoise can still be useful. Slim Jim, Ruination. Not a bad call at all. I think we can click Fire once. He set up rocks. It's fine. We honestly can click EQ to catch Gardevoir on the switch. Because Mystical Fire kills us since we spent our terror. And I don't feel he's setting up all the, the hazards. Because if Gardevoir comes in... I can just go Hisuian Gudra. Let's do the safe body press. We did 57. The whirlwinds. wins. Does he just click the kill now or? He keeps whirlwinding just to be really annoying. So let's see. This is Slim, Slim Jim's jump, so. If he chips my other mons, he can bring Blastoise and I just rapid spin. Yep, 
Yeah, St. Louis is a tough one to do. You know, our goat from DDL season one. Click through nation again. We do one more body press. It looks like he's specially defensive, like careful and all the shit. <coughs> Last move should be EQ. Thirty-six. Now fat bastard is. Versus the old fat bastard. And I think I can just sex Lin Jin now to bring Blastoise. The only scary thing, he might be battle-bound Greninja. And he's just waiting to clap me. But if he's battle-bound, we have that bastard. And Thunderclap. So do I even worry? I think I'll play around it and uh, Gardevoir coming in. I'll just click EQ. He's thinking too much, he might switch. Because his best switch to body press is either Gardevoir or Shizor, but Shizor is already damaged. Gardevoir then can calm mind and be really annoying to my team. And if he ruins me... Oh, the crit! Nice. That's not bad at all. Now we can just depose. We just kill it. Ting Lu is down. And we still have Orform alive to sack him in case we need. Sorry, BFG. We had to do it. Now, Gardevoir. I think it's a safe. Slim Jim Sack. Oh, I gave it Earth Eater. Of all things I could have given it. He tried to encore me. Oh, I'm not staying versus you, boy. No, he doesn't know I don't have a steel move on this. So let's pretend I have Iron Head. My go Cinderace. I'm just gonna click Rock Slide. Let it kill me. Now I can't go Lendo, we know this is not Scarf, because of Encore. 
We don't know it's item though. Might be Babiri. We can kill even with Babiri. So I think it's time for Fat Bastard. And we click Heavy Slam. She can have Focus Blast, but that won't be too much. Oh, oh, oh. Wrong set. <laughs> I'm physical. How mine won't, won't help you from Flash Cannons. And we're three months away from securing our playoffs. Let's hope we keep we keep it like this. Now it should be seen the race. Maybe low kick, high jump kick. I don't think Green Ninja learns Focus Blast or does it? It also learns low kick. Can be physical Green Ninja. Faster, putting some work. Let me put a set on the <clears throat> health decks as Specs Green Ninja just to be ready for the wars. Yeah, Cinderace comes in. Will-O-Wisp is scary, otherwise we could just go Lando. Trailblaze is also annoying. If I chip this and get a free switch into Lando, I just click EQ and the game's over. Okay. So that's a game plan. Do I let him low kick me? Let me check one thing if he gets. Just in case he misses a high jump kick or something like this. Becomes a fighting type and heavy slam. Becomes my most damaging move. I just need a clean switch anyway. So I guess I guess that's the plan. Oh he just pyros. Okay. He pyro balls. I could just go Blastoise then, and save the friendship. He can miss the Spiral Ball. We never know. We never know. He can miss the next one. Just imagine guys, we live in a world where Alex, coach of the Dumb Spartans, misses, in turn 21, a Pyro Ball with Benji, the shiny Cinderace, the imposter. Because this thing, Lou, this cheese or this Cinderace, they are not our boys. They are not Vincenzo, they are not Big Fact Bastard, they are not Cheezor. So now, Lindorius T comes in, clicks EQ. He can be Shuka. Protect. That's not gonna save you, Shuka. Still dies to make you, and we might be three turns away from second playoffs. Worst case scenario, we always thunderclap the Green Ninja, so I think this is this is the deal.
This can be a Scarf or Ninja, but then again, Thunderclad. Chaser comes in, and it's gone. I'll have to make some noise, guys. Sorry. Now, one important thing Water Shuriken. If it's loaded ice, water sherry can, it can kill us. So I think I can go Blastoise and Focus Blast, just to be sure. Ice Punch, okay, it's a Fizz- Oh, nah, nah, come on. Why do you do this to me? I just wanna be free. I mean, he's gonna sort this. With all that, I'm a miss. No, Blastoise, come on. And it is Battle Bond. So Ice Punch, Liquidation, should be that. We focus blast again. I don't care, we're gonna hit one time. Come on, Lil Pump. Don't do me like that. I gave you the, the white herb and shell smash week. Pay me back, my man. Bring us to playoffs. You might do it again. And he kind of has to bank on the miss. He's gonna SD again. And we land the Focus Blast. It survives at 2%. Trail Blade still doesn't kill us. What's the worst thing it can have? Gunk Shot? Gunk Shot might kill us now. We pray for the best. Honestly, I'll play Rapid Spin. I was sure this Focus Blast killed, but we did literally the minimum roll. Yeah, it's 93.8% 90, chance of killing. But such is life. I think Gunk Shot is the only thing that kills us now. Maybe Flink Big Nugget. Oh, he might be Adamant. Never mind. Rayo Blaze. Rayo Blaze also kills us. This is a scary turn. Night Slash can also kill. It's low kick, okay. So now he should be faster than Lenorus. So that's really bad. And we have to get in with Thunderclaps.
I could just click T bolt in this first turn and fuck it all. Because honestly, he might just try to stall me. Of Thunderclaps, then I have to be really smart about it. But this is really a hit or, hit or miss. Let's roll in this range. Ice Punch is a guaranteed kill. But I think I'll just click Thunderclap. Oh, I can click Thunderclap until I'm full HP. Then I can survive an Ice Punch. We got a game plan. Let's go. And we Thunderclap! Greninja is down. It's only Cinderace now. It has the Protect, but let's just click, He's a, he already sent GG's, let's just click T-Bolt. He can be some kind of bulldoze. What's the ground move? I know he gets a ground move. He clicks SD, with T-Bolt, it's dead, GG's. GG's to Alex, we are in playoffs. 2 a win, we bring the Kioma and we say goodbye to Kioma, sorry Shiro. I'm cooking something and I needed 14 points. So Kioma and Minecraft might be going out, but we're bringing two powerhouses for playoffs. GG to Alex, I'll, if I remember, I hope I remember, I'll put his link in the description. He also makes YouTube and some really nice vids. And even if the season is not really being good for him, he's a really good coach. And as you guys saw, he gave us a ton of work. So that's it guys, see you guys in a couple days. And in playoffs.